This is Jason from the QuickBooks team. If you sell products on Etsy, you can download your Etsy transactions directly to QuickBooks, saving you time so that you don't have to enter them manually. Let's go over how to do that using the Sync with Etsy app, and then look at how QuickBooks records your sales and deposits from Etsy. Before you sync QuickBooks with Etsy, make sure you've set up the bank account Etsy uses to deposit your sales, and the bank or credit card account Etsy charges when you pay fees. If you don't see them, you can set them up with the New button, or through the Banking or Transactions tab. To connect QuickBooks to Etsy, select Apps, and search for Sync with Etsy. Then select Get App Now. You'll need to give permission to Etsy and QuickBooks to share transaction details. Next, select the bank account where Etsy deposits your money. And then select the bank or credit card that Etsy uses to charge your fees. Last, choose how far back you want QuickBooks to go when it downloads transactions from Etsy. Be careful with this step because if you've already recorded some of your Etsy sales, this step could record those same sales again. So if you've already recorded some Etsy sales, set the date to after your last recorded sale to avoid duplicates. Once you've selected a date, select Save. The initial sync may take up to three hours, depending on how many transactions QuickBooks needs to download. Now let's see how your Etsy sales, fees, and deposits appear in QuickBooks. Open the chart of accounts. QuickBooks sets up a new account called Etsy and your shop's name in brackets. This is where you'll find all of your Etsy-related transactions. You can take a closer look on the account's register. Here you'll see any fees related to your Etsy account as expenses and any sales from Etsy as sales receipts. You'll also see transfers to your bank account and credit card. These transfers represent the actual deposits from Etsy that you'll see on your bank and credit card statements. These transactions are the net of the sales and expenses you see entered separately. Note that Etsy doesn't bring in your historical transfers. For instance, if you chose for Etsy to bring in your sales from the beginning of the year to today, it will bring in your sales and expenses, but not the transfers from your Etsy account to your bank account but any transfers that happen after you've signed up for Sync with Etsy will show up here. If you download your transactions from your bank or credit cards, you'll also find the deposits and charges from Etsy in your Banking or Transactions tab. Then you can match them with the transfers that Etsy already recorded. That way QuickBooks doesn't count them twice on the profit and loss statement. Now you're ready to sync your Etsy sales with QuickBooks.